Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to show you several ways of how you can attach your GoPro on a glider without having fear that they fall off in flight. So let's get right into it. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. My name is Rudi. I fly commercial aircraft for a living and gliders for fun. So be sure that your seat back is in the upright position, your seat belts are fastened and enjoy the flight. For making the wing mounted footages, I use this custom made camera holder. I simply put the GoPro here. It includes a GoPro mount at the end of it. That's it. I've got two screws in the back. I just open them, slide the camera mount over the wing. That's it. This camera mount has been produced, of course, especially for that plane. I just need to tighten it with the two screws. For the better aerodynamics, I move them in the direction of flight, of course. For making the footages from uh, the back, I use this self-made camera mount. I just use the plastic holder from the box where the GoPro was delivered. I've put an aluminum plate on the back and uh, I'm using two suction cups for the right and left side of the stabilizer. So to mount it here, just make it a bit wet. Put it directly to the stabilizer here and use the suction cups. That's it. Normally that should do. So this is the camera position I'm using and finally I just slide it on the holder. Fix it, just check the picture and that's it. Last but not least I use this tape for two reasons. One is uh, redundancy in fixation and the other thing is that uh, the black colored suction cup is being hidden a little bit on the video which is made from the wing. cockpit captions I'm using the Insta360 1R 360 degree camera to me it's it's really incredible what you can do with those cameras in the meantime so let's make a short break here and let me give you a quick introduction in 360 degree cameras those cameras record spherically that means in every direction this gives the video creator a wide variety of cool effects to implement in his video here you can do panning shots or show the tiny world effect, for example. I simply place the camera on top of the instrument panel and with this accessory holder it's exactly the height what I have available to close the canopy properly. So it's perfect because with the canopy it's additionally fixed and it cannot move in any direction. One of the additional positions I want to show you is this three suction cup holder which can be placed nearly everywhere on the glider. I have uh, made some tries here for example, so on the upper wing, but you could also place it uh, below the wing so that you put it here 
and you get very spectacular views from under the wing either to the rear or to the front. One additional GoPro position is uh, with this strong, I don't know how it's called, with this strong mount and the Silent 2 Electro is really a good guider for that because here are the metal parts kind of a frame so I can easily mount the GoPro here and here and have a perfect camera position. The reason why I'm not using that too much is that with the 360 degree camera I have a lot more options if it's placed uh, for example on the instrument panel. Yeah, so that was my video regarding uh, the camera positions on the glider I'm using and the mounts I'm using. I hope you liked it. If yes, I would be happy if you leave me a comment in the section below and or subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to make sure that you won't miss out any upcoming video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.